This video is sponsored by Sketchfab. Stick around to see how you can get high quality 3D models for free and also how you can join the XP Pen hand painting storybook scene challenge. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the amazing AMD Radeon Pro Renderer. The version 3.2 is right here and of course this comes with a couple of cool things that you guys will definitely want to take a look at. First off, this renderer is a physically accurate GPU renderer which means you can do a lot of things and also get some stunning photorealistic images by working with it. It also makes a lot of sense to actually put into account that this renderer is for free, it is fast, it is extremely easy to work with and it comes with a lot of cool things for those who are thinking about working with this with any DCC app of choice. So right now the AMD Pro Renderer actually has plugin for 3D Studio Max, Blender, Houdini, Maya and also Unreal Engine. But today we're going to take a look at how you can actually get started by working with this with Blender and for those who like to get this I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you would be able to check it out. So one thing to keep in mind is if you'd like to get this, you can actually get the Blender version. You can download for the platform of choice that you'd like to work with. In this case, you can get for either Windows, Mac or Linux, and then you can get the Material Library. I'm very excited about Material Libraries being available with rendering engines because it just simply makes it very easy for persons to assign materials and then build based off those ones. Also very interesting to keep in mind that the Pro Renderer is actually supported for Blender 2.80 plus all the way up and of course if you like to get the previous version of the pro renderer you can also get it for 2.79 so with this said we're going to dive directly into blender and take a look at how this actually works so with blender simply open right here all you need to do to get things happening once you download the radeon pro render plugin is to go over to edit go over to preference and then go over to add-ons click on install and install it and once you install this this is super easy to work with so for this one, all you need to do is go over to where you have your render properties and then you can switch it from EV or cycles over to the pro renderer. So how to work with this is extremely, extremely easy. So I kind of think that it's one of the most easiest uh, rendering engines to work with out there. So how you can get going with this one is as easy as this. Once we switch these to the pro renderer, if you go over to the render section, you would notice how cool the render looks. You would also notice right here that the rendering devices actually takes advantage of any render device that is available for you. And you can choose to play with the CPU threads and you can downscale, upscale, and give it a specific number of threads that it can use. By the way, if you look up here, you would notice that it says the noise already and upscaled. So if you like to take off the viewport the noise in, if you click down here, you can also turn this off. So you can probably get some more, you know, grain like images depending on uh, the kind of thing you're going for so we did mention the fact that this is uh, a renderer that comes with materials and for you to see those materials if you select any object and go over to your materials section you would notice that we do have the material library browser popping now you don't need to create any material to assign new materials to this all you need to do is select from the categories that exist or simply go to search search for a particular kind of material and apply it now for the categories that exist there is a lot actually you can get from car paints all the way to liquid jewels ground fabric for glass all the way to porcelain so if we would like to get something that deals with concrete okay we select concrete select the type of concrete that you want and then click on import material before you hit on this button make sure you have the surface you would like to assign this selected and then do that now, once you do that, automatically it's going to import this material onto this object. Then, then you are free to do whatever you want to do with it. Now, in this case as well, if you already have a material that exists with something, you can, of course, convert this from the principal shader to the Uber shader that comes with the Radeon Pro render. So to take a look at how this one works, we're simply going to go ahead and change this to the shader editor. And for this one, I would like to actually show you guys something. This takes every single thing that you have, in most cases, almost everything that you have, and it transports it to the Uber shader. So a very good example is, if I already have this set to green, you would also notice that it renders your cycle stuff. So that is also one advantage to this. So you don't necessarily need to use the Uber shader. You can get your cycles things rendering with this one as well. So once you set your color or you set the material to a particular kind of color, stuff like that, you can simply 
have this material selected or have the object selected and then click on convert principle to uber it will automatically take everything that exists within the principal shader and transport them to the uber shader that comes with the radium pro render so from this point you can start making tweaks and also getting some very very cool results with it now it's also worth knowing that certain things are not exactly as they look as there are certain times that you might actually go in there and make some tweaks just to make sure that these things actually match and in terms of shader qualities and shader properties that you'll be able to get with this, this seems to come with even way more shader properties than you get with the default principal shader that comes with Blender. So from this part, you also notice that you have a refraction that comes with a couple more properties. You'd also notice you have your emission, transparency, sheen, coating, and also subsurface. Now moving forward, there is also a brand new feature that now ships with the 3.2 version of the Radeon Pro Renderer, which is pretty exciting. So now that we have this, what we can do is as simple as having this object selected all right clicking on new to add a brand new shader and then hold down shift and tap a on your keyboard and instead of using the default uber shader that comes with the radeon pro renderer there is now the radeon pro renderer tune so it makes lots of sense right now so for those who are into tune shading you can now take advantage of this beautiful render so once we switch over to the rendering section you will notice that it just renders this as blank. So even if we switch this to a given color, let's say we do select the color like so, it is still gonna keep it the way it is. And by the way, at any point in time, once you're rendering, you can always, always choose to switch these things off. So if you would like to just simply make use of your CPU instead of your GPU or your GPU instead of your CPU, of course you can. So at this point, if you go back to what we had before, you can now switch the color to whatever color that you want. So depending on the color that you like to give this, you can select that color and get it going. But in most cases, this isn't the kind of tune shader that you like to get or the tune shading that you like to get. So for that, you can now turn on the advanced section and start doing some more advanced stuff. So in this case, you have your shadow, your mid color and your highlight, which you can tweak at any point. So let's say we'll like this to be red, if we'll like this other one to be a bit yellowish. And then finally, we can go in and make the shadows a given color like so. So depending on what you like to shade or how you like your shading to look like, this is definitely one of those things that you can do right now and get the most out of it. Of course, lots of people would also want to play with things like mixing the levels and also getting some good results out of it. This one is totally up to you as you can play with the level mixing and you can actually push and pull things to take more advantage of what already exists with the Radeon Pro Renderer tune. So with this said, let's take a look at something else. Now there are certain problems that you're gonna run into while trying to work with this tool. And of course, some of those problems are things that we need to shed light on so that you don't fall victim to them while trying to work with this renderer. So with the scene like this that we have here, which we downloaded of Sketchfab, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can check it out. There are certain things that doesn't really work here and certain things does work. So by default, like we said earlier, once you already have like a cycles material running, the Radeon Pro Renderer is pretty cool at handling this. So let's go in and turn this one off. And let's go in and turn this off, all right. So the Radeon Pro Renderer is actually good at rendering this. So if we go over and switch this from EV all the way to Radeon Pro Renderer, let's actually you know, move over to this place and see what we can get with EV. And with this, you can notice this is what we could get with EV. Let's switch this over to cycles, see what we can get with cycles. And this is what we could get. And then if we switch over to the Radeon Pro Renderer, you would notice what we can get. So it takes a look at the entire image and also keeps in account all of the textures that exist. But one thing which you would notice is in most cases, the textures of some parts are a little bit washed out. Now you can fix this by simply going over to the shader section and start fixing this. Or you can probably just convert this to the uber shader from principal shader and also tweak this to your liking now it also makes a lot of sense to also keep into account that at certain times you may want a particular kind of look and the radeon pro render may not really be the best render that will give you that look in cases of just converting things from one place to another and that would also require you to go back to the shader editor and fix these things by yourself so let's take a look at a very simple example which you guys would need to know. So with a scene like this, you can notice that we have this helmet. Let's go in and actually move this over to this point. And we'll change our editor type to the shader editor. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and select this. So by default, you would notice that all of these things, all right, they are all plugged to the principal shader. If we switch to the material section and convert the principal shader to the uber shader, you would notice that we sort of lost some, you know, reflection thingy going on there. Now, if this is the problem that you will be having, or if this is the problem that you will have, or you have while trying to work with this, how you can fix this is simple. The Radeon Pro Renderer offers you either metalness or index of refraction. So in this case, instead of using the index of refraction, which is pretty cool, you can proceed to use the refraction metalness and get that same sort of result that you like. So in this case, I'm just going to select this and press one on the keyboard, press the enter key. And now you'd notice we have exactly what we had in cycles. In most cases, once you proceed to also convert this, you may have some saturated colors or some more saturated and uh, a bit more true to life looking things compared to what you would get with cycles. So if we also go in here, we can set this all the way to one to get some more saturated looking colors. And it's just very nice that you can, you know, uh, go back and forth and tweak these things to your liking. If you like to add some more refraction, if you like to add some more stuff, you can also do all of these things right here. So one more thing to keep in mind is in terms of rendering, it is by far one of the coolest and fastest renders that I've seen. I've also come to notice that if you're working with older Blender files, you may potentially have issues because once you proceed to convert the principal shader to the uber shader, sometimes the results are not exactly what you want. So this would also need you to go back and start tweaking things, you know, to fit into what you're trying to create. But either ways, this renderer is super cool and I would really suggest that you guys proceed to try it. So in cases where we have a scene like this, we can simply go over to the render menu and click on render image. And I want you guys to see how fast this actually renders. It's also worth keeping in mind that this rendering is not happening with the default Uber shader. It is just simply happening with the principal shader that exists with Blender. And you can see how fast this one is. And you can also go in and tweak all of these things however you like. So you might also want to make some corners, you know, move things left and right. This is also very, very fast. There's just one downside for me, or should I say two downsides that I've come to find while trying to work with this. So in most cases, once you load in a HDRI, you may experience things like crashing. So one thing which I've come to notice is this sort of happens by lock. So at certain times, like right now, this seems to be working very well. So if we go over to renderer, hopefully you would get a good rendering happening with it. On other times as well, the sun and sky probably would also crash. Now, regardless of this, you will definitely have fun working with this. And in comparison to render times, this is pretty nice in terms of how much rendering you can get out of it at a given time. Meanwhile, you can override a couple of things like your background reflection, your refraction, and also your transparency. So just in case you like to override your background, simply go over to your environment section and then go all the way to where you have your background and you can easily override it. You can choose the color that you like to override this with. And in this case, you know, it could be anything. It could be from a simple sphere, which is something you can define, or probably if you have an image, you can also use the backplate to actually override it right there. So this is going to open up a whole new world of possibilities of things that you can now do. So you can definitely have things like reflection surfaces, actually reflecting what is, you know, there within the image based lighting or within your HDR and have a different background altogether. And this also works alongside with things that you can get for both the refraction, transparency, and so on and so forth. And for those who are interested in passes, you can actually get access to lots of passes. Just simply go over to your layer settings or your layer properties, and you would have access to all the passes that you possibly need. And this is definitely going to come in handy for those that are into compositions. Maybe you like to composite stuff afterwards. Yep, you would have fun working with this one. So this is more like it for those who would like to take a look at the AMD Radeon Pro Renderer 3.2 that is currently available for Blender. You can go over to the link in the description and download it. And of course, if you'd like me to talk about this for Maya, 3D Studio Max, Houdini, or maybe Unreal Engine, simply put that in the comment section as well. And I will do my best to reach out to you guys and do it. Something else which is also available is there's a USD Hydra rendering delegate that is now available for the AMD Pro Renderer. So just in case you're into USDs, you like to render stuff with that, this is also something that's extremely possible that you can take advantage of. And for those who like to download high quality 3D models that they can use to test out their renderers, just like we did, you can simply find all these things right here on Sketchfab. So the beautiful thing is Sketchfab is an amazing place on the internet where you can find 
lots of exclusive high quality 3d models that you can get for free and how to get these things is as easy as going over to sketchfab go over to explore go over to downloadables and you have free downloadable content every single week Right now, the folks at Sketchfab are also doing a very small challenge. So just in case you'd like to win some amazing prizes, the hand painting storybook scene challenge is now available and it's been sponsored by XP Pen. So just in case you'd like to win any of these things, you can avail yourself an amazing opportunity by joining this challenge right now and win it. There's a couple of criteria and also certain things to keep in mind. The deadline is Monday, the 26th of July, 2021. So. This is more like it for those who like to sell their own 3D arts, you want to buy some, you want to get free stuff, or probably you're thinking about how to get these amazing physical accurate GPU renderer from AMD. Link to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I would like to see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.